Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the previous lecture, we have installed Hadoop cluster on your local PC. So from today, we are going to start working with our Hadoop cluster. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I hope you have already installed HDP Sandbox on your PC. If not, just watch the previous video and just let me know in the comments if you are facing any difficulties. So just open the virtual box and run the Hadoop Sandbox. So I have already kept it in running position so it is running now. So once it will boot up just go to your favorite browser and just give like localhost 8080 so which will get you to the Ambari. So here we will use the credential like previous one maria underscore dev and the password is also same maria underscore dev. So these are the credentials which are provided by Cloudera itself. So just sign into the cluster close all the notification and as you can see all the services are running without any issues so it will take hardly 30 minutes for me so it totally depends on amount of memory you are assigning to your Hortonwork sandbox so as you can see once all the services will run and zero results and zero operations are running so that your cluster is fine and in healthy condition so here are all the tools that we have talked in the previous lectures so HDFS, there's Hive, HBase so we are going to see and learn every tool in our Hadoop cluster so that you will get some hands-on experience on each of those tools but today we are going to deal with HDFS which is the core component of Hadoop ecosystem and is a storage layer for Hadoop click on the HDFS so as you can see one data node is running and all are in healthy condition and here you can monitor all the metrics for your HDFS services. So to access HDFS, you just have to click on here and go to the files view. So it will just check the services and here you can see this is our Hadoop data file system. So here you can either upload or download the file as per the requirement. So let's upload some file and work with it. So for uploading, just click on upload. And here you can upload the file from your Windows PC itself. So I'm having just one data file. So we will load the customer orders file here. So just open it and that's it. We will create one directory and we will name it as HDFS. We will add it and we will move this file to HDFS. So as you can see the HDFS had loaded with one CSV file. So here you can either open it or else we can remove and assign some permission we can do all the operations such as delete copy move and we can also download the file so here i have downloaded the file which is nothing but a comma separated file which contains customer order details and also let's upload another file so i will upload one file so i will upload friends file which have all the data related to friends so either we can do different operations. So here if we select two files together, we can concatenate and the files combined result will be downloaded here. So this file, so here one file and here is the second file. So both files are concatenated. So this is how you can work with HDFS in the Ambari UI. So dealing with HDFS through Ambari is very simple. But if you are like a programmer guy and you want to programmatically work with HDFS then you have to work with command line interface and you should know some Unix basic commands. So if you are not familiar with it I will suggest you my full course on shell scripting tutorial which will give you all the basic you need to work with HDFS. Since it's a windows machine and if you want to interface our Linux box we need some tool called putty. From that terminal we will able to access our Hadoop cluster as well as our local file system which is nothing but a Linux box by command line interface. So to download it just go to your browser and put like putty and it's a straightforward procedure so just go to download and just download click here and run any executable file. So just click on it and it will get downloaded. So once download, just install it. So on my PC, I have already downloaded Putty. So after downloading, just open like Putty. So this app will be here. So it will ask for a host name and the port. So for this, our host name would be Maria underscore dev at the rate 
and we need to put the IP address. So the IP address will be localhost and the port name just go for 2222. So this is the port number. So just remember this and follow along with me. So just give like open. Yeah. Just maximize and here they will ask for the password. As you already know, the password for is is Maria underscore dev. So that's it. You are in your Linux box right now. If you want to run Hadoop commands, we haven't covered that topic yet. But for running Hadoop commands, let me give you some basic commands. So running for it, just you have to give Hadoop space fs. Then you can use different commands such as for listing out you just give like hyphen ls. This will give you the home directory for our Hadoop file system. So wait a minute, we can also get it through Ambari, right? So if you go to Ambari, go to Ambari and here is the home. So these are all the two files which are present in your home directory of HDFS, which are shown here. So let's try some basic commands to work with HDFS. So as through UI, we have loaded some files through PC. But here, if you want to copy some file to HDFS from local system, our local system is Linux box here. So if you hit ls command, there is nothing there in our Linux box. So first we need some data to work with. So to get the data in Linux, there is a command called wget where you can download the data from a website. So let's take some sample data from website. So just go to the browser and say for download csv file go for any of the sample data which will be useful for your practice so here take any one so this is a comma separated value file so just get the link of it so just copy link address and in the box type wget and paste it over here when you hit enter that file will be downloaded into your linux box which is a local file system for your hadoop cluster so when you hit ls here you can see this file is on your Linux box right now, which is local system. But if you want to upload this file to HDFS, there is a command called copy from local. So by running this command, you can easily upload this file to the HDFS. So right now in our HDFS, let's make some directory. So just shoot Hadoop FS hyphen LS. So in this home directory, let's create one directory called practice. To do that, just type again Hadoop FS and then give the command, which is mkdir, which will used for making the directory. So just give like practice. And now if you run the ls command, so here you can see that practice is created. So before uploading this file to HDFS, first just rename that file to a short name. So we will use mv command and we will rename this file to sample.csv so now the name has been shortened so we will just upload this file to the hdfs so to upload the file there is a command called copy from local which will copy the file from local and populate it to the hdfs so to run that command just give like hadoop fs copy from local this f and l are capital the file name so our file name is sample.csv and we need to put that into our directory which we just created so our directory is practice and we will copy the sample.csv in that directory so just hit enter as you can see so if we use a ls command on hadoop hadoop fs slash ls so here we have our practice directory so we have just uploaded the file so just again go inside the directory so hadoop fs dash ls practice so as you can see our sample.csv file is there so we have uploaded the csv file from your local system to our hdfs by using the copy from local command so now let's do some cleanup for that just use the rm command to remove the file so just give like hadoop fs rm and the file is practice sample.csv so the file has been moved to trash so if we give ls to the practice there is no file present and also just remove the practice directory itself by using the rmdir command so just give like hadoop file system fs rm 
directory and remove the practice directory that's it so when we hit ls on our hdfs home there will be only default files will be present so this trash files view have are the system files which are created when we deployed our cluster onto our linux box so if you are not sure about the commands you can just simply get the guide through hadoop fs hit enter and here you can see all the commands that you can use and how they work so here you can see the command such as copy from local which we have just seen which will be used for copying local file to the hdfs there is one command which is copy to local which will copy the file from hdfs to our local system there is a count cp is there for copying and all the unix command as well so you also have move from local and move to local for moving the files as well as removing the directory and creating the directory so all the commands will be familiar to you if you have a basic knowledge working with a unix shell scripting so i know i mean working with ui will be much simpler than just working with the command line so if you go to the ambari it is a bit simple process as you don't want to give any commands or remember any commands and you can do all kinds of operation from web ui also so this is how you can work with hdfs through ambari web ui as well as the command line which we have just discussed so i will recommend you to set up your own cluster so that you will have some hands on experience of working with hdfs so that's it for this lecture but at the last you should always shut down your cluster so just go to the virtual box and go to machine and you can click on acpi shutdown when your work is done just click on it and your unix machine will be shut down so i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest update and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching